Hello, all you precious children. I'm so glad that it's my turn to read a story to all of you. I have a very special book that I want to read to you right now. It's called Babysitting for Benjamin. It's special to me for a few reasons. Um, most of you know that I'm not only your teacher, but I'm also a mom myself. My children are grown-ups now, but they used to be three or four or five. And when they were little, especially Benjamin, because this book has his name in it, wanted me to read this to him all the time. I want to show you a picture of Benjamin in the book. And then you'll be able to see why it's also special, because as you can see, he's a bunny rabbit. And Easter is right around the corner. Easter was one of our favorite holidays, so that made it also a very special book. So here we go. Babysitting for Benjamin. And there's Benjamin. He's knocking on the door. When Benjamin knocked on the door, Francis put the goldfish on a high shelf, the lampshade in the basement, and the pencils in the closet. His father said he eats pencils, said Francis. I know, said Ralph, twirling his whiskers nervously. Ralph took down the pictures, rolled up the rug, and put a gate in front of the stairs. Of course, he's just a baby, said Francis. I know, dear, said Ralph, but he's already much bigger than we were at his age, and we need to be prepared. Are you ready, asked Francis. I'm ready, said Ralph, and he slowly opened the door. Play, shouted Benjamin, sliding through the living room on his back feet. I thought he would hippity hop, said Ralph. Oh no, dear, said Francis. His mother said he leaps. Benjamin took a large bite out of a Boston fern and jumped up and down on the sofa. Ralph put the fern on the back porch and Francis handed Benjamin a carrot. Eat, shouted Benjamin, and he snapped the carrot in two with his huge baby teeth. He doesn't nibble, said Francis. Oh no, dear, said Ralph. His father said he chews on everything. Benjamin grinned and flopped his lop ears once to the right and once to the left. Look, Ralph, said Francis, he's smiling. I know, said Ralph, be careful. It was a long afternoon. Benjamin chewed on the sofa, knocked over the gate and leaped into the garbage. Play, he shouted happily, squashing an empty milk carton. Eat, he said as Francis deftly removed a washcloth from his mouth. Ralph and Francis were exhausted by the time Benjamin's parents came to get him at the end of the day. I'll say this for him, said Ralph. He sure is lively. Oh, yes, dear, said Francis. He is. The next time Benjamin knocked on the door, Ralph taped the telephone cord too high for chewing, and Francis put the dishes in the attic. Sometimes, said Ralph, I wonder why we're doing this. You remember, dear, said Francis gently. We wanted a little company, Ralph frowned. I think we got a lot more company than we bargained for. Do you have the peanuts ready, asked Francis. Ready, said Ralph, holding up a wooden bowl. Francis took a deep breath and opened the door. Play, shouted Benjamin, whizzing through the door. He stopped suddenly and lifted his nose in the air. Just as if he were a toy on a string, he rolled over to the bowl in Ralph's hand. Dump, he shouted cheerfully and thumped the bowl with his huge baby foot. The bowl flew as high as the ceiling and peanuts poured down like rain. Benjamin's nose twitched as he ate. Oh, Ralph, said Francis, sighing. I think he's learned a new word. I know, said Ralph. It's too bad he couldn't have learned a word like sleep. Before Benjamin left that afternoon, he had eaten every single peanut. He had also dumped the garbage, dumped the umbrella stand, and dumped three shelves of books from the bookcase. He had even dumped the can that held Ralph's collection of antique marbles. I hope you don't lose your marbles, said Francis. You can say that again, said Ralph. Next time, said Francis firmly, we'll have to be better prepared. But the next time Benjamin came over, he forgot to knock. Play, said Benjamin, slamming the door behind him. Ralph and Francis ran around the room in circles. Get the pencils, shouted Francis. 
She put the plants in the oven and the umbrella stand in the garbage. Find the peanuts, shouted Ralph. He put the lampshade on his head and the goldfish in the refrigerator. Benjamin thought a minute. Play, he shouted gaily. And then he put Ralph and Francis in the closet. I think he's learned about doorknobs, whispered Francis. I know, said Ralph, banging on the door with his fist. I just wish he'd learn how to play. Francis nodded. The problem is he likes to play with everything. The problem is, said Ralph, not everything likes to play with him. If I were Benjamin, Francis said, I'm not sure I'd know which was which. Francis and Ralph stared at each other and suddenly they both knew exactly what they ought to do. The next time Benjamin knocked on the door, everything was in its place. The fishbowl was on the table, the pencils were on the desk, and the garbage was in the garbage can. Ralph opened the back door and moved the sofa 10 inches to the left. Are you ready? asked Francis. I'm as ready, said Ralph, as I'm ever going to be. And together they opened the door. Play, shouted Benjamin. He skidded past the sofa, through the kitchen, down the hallway, and tumbled out the back door into the yard. Benjamin blinked his eyes. To his right was a sandbox, and to his left was a swing. There were trees for shade and carrots in the garden just right for pulling up. Play, shouted Benjamin. He leaped over the daisies and raced around and around the bird bath. I think he likes it, dear, said Ralph. Yes, said Francis, I think he does. This is how we dump, said Francis, pouring sand from one bucket to the other. Dump, said Benjamin. And when we get hungry, said Ralph, we have carrots to eat. Eat, said Benjamin happily. And near the end of the afternoon, when he had run and played and jumped as hard as he could, Benjamin stretched out on the picnic blanket, his chin flat against the ground, and quietly wiggled his nose. I think it's time to go in now, said Francis. Yes, said Ralph. It's time. I have the book, said Francis, and I have the peanuts. They sat on the sofa with Benjamin cuddled in the middle, and Francis turned to the first page. Once upon a time, there were four little rabbits, she read. Benjamin's eyes opened wide. He nibbled the peanuts and looked carefully at every single picture on each page. And when they got to the end, Benjamin turned back to the beginning and they read it again. He reads very well, said Ralph fondly. Yes, said Francis, smoothing Benjamin's fur. He does. Benjamin smiled and closed his eyes. Read, he mumbled as they all three fell sound asleep with everything in its place. It was such a treat to read this to you and I'm gonna read more books to you. Please know I love all of you and I miss you dearly. And um, that's all for now. Bye you guys.